clarinets are the ultimate sardines. So during marching band camp, we have an hour after lunchtime that's called discussion. We spend actually about 15 minutes talking about stuff and then the rest we're doing games until it's time to go outside and march for an hour and a half in the hot blazing Idaho sun. Yay! So on Friday, we were playing sardines. If you don't know what sardines is, it's about the exact opposite of hide and seek. You have one person who's it, who goes and hides, and then everyone else separates and tries to find them. And when you find them, you hide with them. The last person to find everybody loses. It's called sardines because you try to pack everyone into one hiding place. Well, the clarinets, at least at my marching band, are experts at this. We were doing it with sections, so first our section leader was going to hide, then everyone would go and find them, and then the last person to find her section had to go and find the drum major. So, our section leader decided to hide underneath the choir room piano. See where I'm going with this? So, nine out of ten people all squish under the piano, but there's a curtain, and there's a curtain covering the sides of the piano, so no one can see us. And so it was surprisingly comfortable under there, at least for me, but I'm tiny. The only person who wasn't able to fit under the piano was um, one of the other clarinets who's about six foot, so he had to go hide behind the risers behind the piano, because why not? And the one guy goes to go find the drum majors, because he was the last one to find the group. And the rest of us are all just sitting there underneath this dusty piano. And while we're there, we find a paper airplane and a Bible. I don't know why there was a Bible behind the piano, but there was. And no one comes for us for like half an hour and we're like, what if we just stay here and no one finds us? And we just wait for someone to come and get us. And maybe we can miss an hour and a half of hot sun marching. A few people from the rest of the band did come and visit us. One girl came and went to the edge of the piano and pulled off our section leader's socks. After about 45 minutes or so, we start talking about how we're just going to stay there and hide, even if the color guard comes in and practices. The color guard practices in the choir room, by the way. And Mandy starts just reading from the Bible out loud, and we're all just listening. It's story time. And eventually, someone comes and tells us, hey, the game's over. You guys can come out now. And all of us just say, no, at the same time. And the person asks, well, why not? And we say, because we don't want to. And they leave, and we're under there for about another 20 minutes. All the clarinets just hiding underneath the piano. Well, except for the guy who had to go find a drum major. So, 9 out of 10 clarinets underneath the piano. A couple of guys decide that they don't want to stay underneath the piano because it was getting kind of crowded for them. So eventually we all just come out and we end up having to go and march. Moral of the story, clarinets are awesome at sardines and your argument is invalid. Thanks for watching, guys. A huge shout out to Marching Band Freaks. They're a popular marching band Facebook page and they actually shared my last video which if you haven't seen there will be a link over here if you want to go check out marching band freaks I'll put a link to the page right there also be sure to check out our Facebook page maybe I should go to bed and also remember to subscribe also check out our website link will be over there thanks for watching guys I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you later